Welcome to TFR Let's Talk. I'm your host, Sapin Bhatia, and my next guest is once again, Rob Hirschfeld, CEO and co-founder of Reckon. Rob, this time we are talking about a digital uh, rebar. There's a new version out there. Before we get into the, the new version, I want you to give us a quick recap. What is digital rebar all about? Digital rebar is all about helping companies run data centers uh, and infrastructure better. Frankly, it is a full life cycle. Take uh, our customers' infrastructure from frankly, bare metal to completely running systems, uh, virtualization platform stacks, operating systems, and then beyond installing software on it. Um, and then we're completely agnostic about the type of infrastructure, whether it's a hardware OEM, cloud, virtualization, you name it, we automate it. So you basically sits on top of bare metal and provision it to, to whatever workloads people want to run there. Usually think of it as beside bare metal, but that's exactly the way it works. Is there's It's a management stack that customers run themselves behind their firewalls, and then it takes care of the full life cycle of their infrastructure. Okay. Storage, switches, compute, whatever they whatever they need to get done, there's a lot of moving parts, and we keep all that stuff running. Now, let's talk about the new version 4.6. What's new there? 4.6 is a, a real milestone release for us because we integrated uh, consensus-based high availability into the platform itself, which means that if our customers want to run a highly available infrastructure pipeline, then they don't need any other prerequisites. Uh, and this is really important because a lot of times we show up first. We are the thing that people start when they need to build a data center. Digital rebar is the first thing that they start. Or when you're building a continuous deployment pipeline on infrastructure, you need that pipeline to be really working. You can't, you can't build that you know, you can't build on top of your infrastructure if you can't count on the availability of lifecycle provisioning, reprovisioning, teardown, and setup. So having a high availability system is essential to the type of production deployments that we're involved in. So the other critical feature in this release is universal workflow. And universal workflow reflects our experience across the industry in customers at scale and small scale data centers where we took their best practices, their standards, across every type of infrastructure, vendor, operating system, platform deployment, and then created a universal path to do all that work. So when customers install Digital Rebar 4.6, what they get is a standard way to run infrastructure, virtual, physical, cloud, it doesn't matter. And that means they don't have to spend time figuring out how to do RAID and BIOS, how to do burn-in, decommissioning, provisioning, whichever OS, they can literally set the systems on a path and then the, the universal workflow will take care of that. It's a real breakthrough in helping take the toil out of these infrastructure operations. So it's truly the universal in the name is really, you know, it does mean it, it, it spans across. It doesn't really matter bare metal or what kind of operating system or, you know, environment you're running on. Yeah. Uh, we always talk about edge also. Where does digital rebar fit in the edge data center space? Edge is a place where we get a lot of interest. And it's interesting for us because when we talk to customers, they don't really want to hear about edge or cloud or data center infrastructure at all. What they want to know is they have a standard process for all of their infrastructure. Uh, the thing that makes Digital Rebar really unique for Edge is the distributed control plane that we build. So part of Digital Rebar enables you to build local site control systems, use infrastructure as code to synchronize the automation at each one of those sites, and then federate that into a, into a single management plane. So we get the best of both worlds in an edge or even a distributed enterprise data center environment where you have local autonomy that doesn't rely on external control systems. And you also have the ability to watch and control systems across your infrastructure, even if they aren't local. So we've managed to get the best of both worlds. That's a feature that's been in Digital Rebar for multiple releases now and has really been tried and true over the course of many production <coughs> cycles for us. As we had this discussion in the previous episode, which was about uh, bare metal, uh, talk about uh, what does this mean for uh, bare metal? So bare metal and automating bare metal is one of the things that Rackend has really made our name on. Uh, 
we have capabilities at the physical layer that are unmatched in industry. And it's funny because in a lot of ways, our customers don't want to worry about bare metal, and, and we agree with them. The, the idea here is that bare metal should be just another type of infrastructure. And so what we've done with Digital Rebar is make it so that all of the control surfaces, the multi-vendors, the different type of extra work that you need to do with uh, bare metal, you know, Raiden BIOS configuration, setting up IPAMs, uh, IP address man management, and other systems can just be folded into the normal workflows that we do. That exactly what universal workflow includes is standard processes for managing all those things. Because what we've seen is that while a lot of people get excited about pixie booting or kickstarting or installing an OS, that really isn't what we see data centers needing. When people are talking about infrastructure and automation, it's the whole process that matters. And that's really what distinguishes digital rebar from just a bare metal solution. It's really being able to do infrastructure as code up and down the stack. Rob, thank you so much for sitting down with me and talk about the latest release of Digital Rebar. And also, we went into Edge and Bare Metal. Thanks for your discussion. And as usual, I look forward to our next topic. Thank you. Thanks, Wapna. Appreciate it.